Hello friends, it's Mrs. Bird. We're going to be doing our phonics and phonemic awareness. First, we're gonna be reviewing all the letters and sounds that we have really focused on. So we're gonna chop the beginning sound and I want you to call out the letter that you hear at the beginning. This is an otter, chop it. Otter. What letter says ah? Oh. This light bulb, it's not very bright. That means it is dim. Say dim, dim, chop it. D, M. What letter says D? D. Cactus, say cactus, cactus, chop it. K, actus. What letter says C. Now I know K also says K, but we'll focus on K a little bit later. Soap. Chop it. Soap. What letter says S? S. Igloo. Chop it. I. Glue. What letter says I? I. Noodles. Chop it. N. Oodles. What letter says N? N. Chop pizza. P. Pizza. What letter was that? P. Muffin pan. Ready? Chop it. M. Muffin pan. What letter was that? M. Alligator. Chop it. A. Alligator. What letter was that? A. Toucan. Chop it. T. Oucan. What letter was that? T. All right, friends, today instead of doing thumbs up or thumbs down, we're gonna try to figure out the beginning letter in all of these pictures. So we're gonna chop it and then call out the letter that you think is at the beginning. Car, chop car. K, R. What did you hear? C. Strawberry, chop it. S, strawberry. What letter was that? S. Dress, chop it. D. Rest. What letter did you hear? D. Paper. P. Aper. What letter? P. Dinosaur. D. Dinosaur. D. Mushroom. M. Ushroom. M. All right, friends, what do you hear at the beginning of dinosaur? D. Dinosaur, d, d, d. Can you point to the word that has the same beginning sound as d, d, dinosaur? Point to it. Good job, let's sound that out. D, i, p, dip. All right, friends, let's shop otter, ready? Otter, what did you hear at the beginning? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. O, point to the word that has the same beginning sound as otter. Good job. Let's sound it out. On, on. All right, friends. Today I'd like you to try to punch out the ending sound and call out the letter that you hear at the end. Let's punch out cloud. Ready? Cloud. D. What'd you hear at the end? D. Punch out cabin. Ready? Cabin. What letter was that? N. Stamp. Stamp. What'd you hear at the end? P. Carrot. Ready? Carrot. What letter was that? T, spoon, spoon, 
What letter was that? N. Bed. Bed. What letter was that? D. Let's find the ending sound. Punch out bread. Ready? Bread. What did you hear at the end? D. 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 Can you find the word that has the same ending and point to it? Good job. Let's sound it out. I, d, hid. All right, friends, let's find that middle sound. Let's roller coaster the words. If you hear ah, ah, oh in the middle, give me a thumbs up. Any other middle sound and thumbs down. Ready? Pot. P, ah, t. Thumbs up. I heard ah, ah, ah. Dog. D, ah, d. Thumbs up. Ah, ah. Nail. N, a, o. Thumbs down. I heard the long a. Tub. T, a, b. Thumbs down. Uh, uh. Pod. P, ah, d. Thumbs up. I heard ah, ah, ah. Fig. F, i, g. Thumbs down. What do you hear in the middle of hop? H, a, p, a, a. Can you find the word that has the same middle sound and point to it? Right here, it has an a uh in the middle. Let's sound it out. R, a, d, rod. All right, friends, which word does not belong? Which one has a different middle sound? Let's roller coaster it. Fox, f, a, x, sad, s, a, d, box, b, a, x. Which one has a different middle sound? Point to it. Sad. Let's practice blending. See if you can turn this into a word. M, o, s, moose, w, er, m, worm, s, e, d, seed, k, o, o, v, er, clover, f, o, ow, er. Flower, t, e, ch, er. Teacher. Let's see if you can blend some words that have the d, d, d sound. D, i, m, p, o. Dimple. D, er, e, n, ch. Drench. Look, he's drenched. He is soaking wet. D e p. Deep in the deep water. All right, friends. Let's sound out some words. Ready? Say each sound. I n. Blend it into a word. In. Sound it out. K a. N can p a d pod m a d mad m a s moss. Let's see if we can segment. We're gonna stretch our words to hear every sound. Then let's count to see how many sounds. Kite. Ready? K, I, T. Count it. K, I, T. Three. Six. S, I, X. Count it. S, I, X. Three. 
snail. Stretch it. S n a o. Count it. S n a o. Four sounds. Steam. Do you see the steam coming out of that kettle? Steam. Stretch it. S t e m. Count it. S t e m. Four sounds. Now let's clap out the syllables that we hear in the words. Ready? Delivery. Clap it. Delivery. Four. Shoe. Ready? Shoe. One. Tiger. Tiger. Two. Present. Present. Two. Robot. Robot. Two. Dollar. Dollar. Two. Let's see if we can substitute the beginning sound. Say dip, dip, change d to ol. Lip, say tin, tin, change t to w. Win, say nip, change n to er. Rip, say miss. Change m to k. Kiss. Say sit. Change s to f. Fit. Now we're going to add a sound to the beginning. Say it. It. Add ol to the beginning. Lit. Say ig. Ig. Add d. Dig. Say in. Add Pin. Say ill. Add s. Sill. Say ick. Add ol. Lick. Let's delete the beginning. Say dip. Dip. Take off the d. Ip. Say hill. Hill. Take off the h. Ill. Say pin. Take off the p. In. Say wig. Take off the w. Ig. All right, friends, I can sequence. Look at the three pictures in this row. They tell a story about making a snowflake. The pictures show what happened first, what happened next, and what happened last. But they're all out of order. We need to figure out which picture shows what happened first. So let's look very carefully. In this first one, we see the snowflake is all done. In this one, it's folded and they are cutting it. In this one, it's folded, but no cuts are made yet. So which one would happen first? Can you point to it? This one, this would happen first number one. Now before you can make a snowflake, first you have to fold it. Next you would cut it, so this happens number two. You start cutting triangles and shapes out of it. And finally last, number three, you unfold it to see your design. All right friends, we're going to work on a five-star sentence to tell about our picture. Now let's see in my picture, I see a polar bear and I see baby polar bears. I know that those are cubs. So I think I'm going to write, it has cubs. What do I need to start with? Sentences always start with a capital or uppercase. So it, stretch it, 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 it. I, but remember, I need an uppercase or capital I for the beginning. It, T, it, I'm going to leave a space, has, I need to stretch that. It's not been one of our words. Huh, as, huh, that's an H. Huh, as, 
it has, I'm going to leave a space, cubs. Stretch it with me. K -a -b -z. Cubs. Okay. K -c -k -a -a. That's a U. K -a -b, B. It has cub. But I see more than one. When there's more than one, we add an S to the end to make cubs. It has cubs. What goes at the end? A period. Very good. All right, friends. I see that we started with our uppercase or capital. I see my spacing. I know that we stretch out words to spell them. I see our end mark. Now we need to reread it and make sure it makes sense. It has cubs. Does that go with our picture? Yes. The it is the polar bear. And what about it? It has cubs. So our sentence sounds good. It makes sense. Let's go over some positional words, words that tell us where this owl is. Look, the owl is on the box. Now he is under it. He is next to it, in front of it. Oh, look, where is he now? He's behind the box. Now he is between boxes. Here, look at the arrows. He is going around that box. And look, for the last one, he is going through it. So the positional words tell us where the bird is compared to that box. All right, friends, let's read our word. Ready? To clap it. T O to punch it, T O to write it, T O to. Let's read that word. Ready? Do clap it, D O do punch it, D O do write it, D O do. Let's go over one more word. Let's read it, ready? Go, clap it, G, O, go, punch it, G, O, go, write it, G, O, go. Let's see if we can read some of our words. See if you can read it with me, ready? Do you like? to go camping. Let's read this one. We do go to the store. Awesome job, friends.